When it comes to space anomalies, I feel like we could be talking about them forever and not even scratch the surface of the mysteries that exist out in the ether. Seeing as the powers that be have been on a bit of a space and underwater kick lately, and I now know about the theory that octopuses are possibly aliens or descended from aliens, starting off today with a celestial jellyfish felt like a good place to begin. In the cosmic tapestry of anomalies, a celestial jellyfish emerges, its ethereal tendrils reaching across the vast expanse of a distant galaxy cluster, 340 million light years away from the gaze of our pale blue dot. Scientists, armed with instruments that dissect the cosmic symphony, stumbled upon this mysterious structure and couldn't figure it out. This jellyfish-shaped apparition, aptly christened the USS Jellyfish, unfurls its tentacles through the cold void of space, emitting an ultra-low radio frequency, a cosmic whisper that echoes across the cosmic oceans. Its existence, a puzzle woven into the fabric of the cosmos, beckons scientists to decipher its origin and purpose. The celestial sea creature, as the astronomers playfully term it, is not an ethereal being, but a manifestation of the cosmic dance between sizzling hot gas and electrons, choreographed by the hand of black hole theatrics. So, Picture this, material expelled from a voracious black hole, a cosmic burp of sorts, entwines itself with magnetic fields, birthing the spectral dance of the USS Jellyfish. As a celestial being navigates the cosmic currents, its tentacles emit radio waves, a symphony that resonates across the vastness of the galaxy cluster. Here, in the realm of galactic congregations, the dance of particles and the hum of magnetic fields converge, giving birth to a cosmic ballet that transcends the boundaries of our comprehension. So what fuels the celestial dance? The expelled material. Ejected from the gravitational clutches of a black hole, swirls like cosmic beings, encircling magnetic fields in a gravitational waltz. So, in this intricate choreography, radio waves emanate from the celestial jellyfish, a celestial orchestra. I know, I just really like that word, playing a tune that reaches us across unfathomable wolf distances. As the gas and electrons engage in this pas de deux, they create a celestial ballet that transcends the boundaries of our understanding. So, the reacceleration of radio wave, an encore in the cosmic symphony, occurs as the jellyfish traverses the galaxy cluster, leaving astronomers in awe of the intricate interplay between matter, magnetism, and the cosmic stage, upon which this celestial dance unfolds. Next up, we have a word that's about to be fun for me to say over and over and over again, an oumuamua. I swear I tried to look up how to pronounce things for today, folks. I'm not perfect. So when it comes to the vast cosmic expanse that I love to talk about, this cosmic visitor decided to grace our solar neighborhood, making a spectacular entrance back in 2017. It was like, hey guys, how's it going? This massive elongated object resembling a cigar hurtled past Earth at an extraordinary speed, a breakneck pace of 196,000 miles per hour, leaving astronomers and enthusiasts alike in awe. NASA, ever the cosmic sentinel, proclaimed Oumuamua as a celestial emissary, a cosmic envoy from beyond our solar borders. Its trajectory, its otherworldly speed, set it apart as the first known interstellar object to venture into, well, our cosmic neighborhood. However, the origins of this cigar-shaped wanderer remain shrouded in mystery, a puzzle that intrigued and perplexed the cosmic detectives over at NASA. Harvard professor Avi Loeb, with the audacity to entertain the extraterrestrial, postulated that, well, this thing might not be a mere cosmic wanderer, but a relic of advanced alien technology, a cosmic artifact cast adrift from a civilization beyond our horizon. His hypothesis injected a dose of extraterrestrial intrigue into the scientific discourse, igniting the cosmic imaginations of those who dared to ponder the possibility of cosmic neighbors. But the cosmic jury remained divided, because that's what happens when you talk about aliens, and other scientists, tethered to the gravitational forces of skepticism, proposed alternative cosmic narratives. Some suggested that it might be a cosmic refugee, a Pluto-like celestial a wanderer dislodged from its planetary abode eons ago, embarking on a cosmic odyssey that eventually led it into the gravitational embrace of our sun. So as this whodunit continued its journey through the cosmic seas, its unknown nature lingered in the cosmic consciousness. This cosmic cigar, once an unknown emissary from the cosmic expanse, transcended the realm of scientific inquiry, becoming a symbol of the mysteries that lie beyond our celestial shores. So in this tapestry that I love so much, where galaxies swirl like Van Gogh's starry night, a peculiar celestial phenomenon caught everybody's attention back in 2019. A hazy circular object materialized in the cosmic tableau, defying easy categorization, leaving scientists uttering a cosmic WTF in the face of this apparition. Dubbed WTF, kind of fitting, for its mysterious nature, this circular cosmic enigma sparked intrigue and bewilderment amongst astronomers. A cosmic interloper, a smoky sphere hanging in the celestial expanse, prompted cosmic detectives to unfold the cosmic mysteries surrounding its existence. But this was not a lone wanderer, it was merely the herald of a cosmic revelation. So within just days, a celestial deja vu unfolded as a second smoky orb graced the cosmic stage. The bewilderment obviously deepened, and astronomers 
Westerners found themselves confronted not only with an isolated anomaly, but with a cosmic chorus of mysterious fears. The cosmos, it seemed, was orchestrating a cosmic riddle, and scientists needed to decipher the celestial clues embedded in these objects. Entered the odd radio circles, ORCs, a name befitting their cosmic ambiguity. These circular enigmas, draped in cosmic haze, defied conventional explanation, earning them the moniker of odd. As scientists delved into the cosmic detective work, the true nature of ORCs remained elusive, a puzzle awaiting cosmic unraveling. The cosmic speculations surrounding ORCs ventured into the realms of theoretical physics and cosmic cataclysms. Some proposed a connection to wormholes, cosmic tunnels bending the fabric of space and time itself. Others pondered whether the ORCs emerged from the aftermath of distant galactic explosions. Going back to the grand cosmic narrative, where mysteries linger like cosmic echoes, the story of ORCs exemplifies the frontiers of our cosmic understanding. So as scientists gaze into the cosmic unknown, these mysterious circles beckon us to peer beyond the veil of certainty, inviting us to contemplate the vast cosmic possibilities that our grasp. The cosmic WTF imprinted on these odd radio circles continues to echo through the cosmic corridors, a reminder that the cosmos is not only grand, but profoundly mysterious. So how about some video game references next? So they say that in space, no one can hear you, waka 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 waka. Tell that to the Pac-Man remnant, the gassy remains of an ancient supernova that have taken on a shape instantly recognizable to fans of the classic video game. Behold the cosmic Pac-Man, a quirky and unexpected player on the cosmic stage, residing in the southern sky. So in the grand tapestry of the universe, where stars explode and galaxies collide, this peculiar anomaly, officially known as N63A, emerges as a cosmic callback to a classic video game. Let's just call it Pac-Man, nestled within the large megalenic cloud galaxy, a mere 163,000 light years from the Milky Way, the gassy remains of an ancient star, collapsed under the weight of its own celestial destiny, now echoes the iconic shape of Pac-Man. The celestial creature, born from the remnants of stellar demise, stands as a testament to the whims of cosmic chance. The dispersal of superheated gas took on this unmistakable shape, a cosmic coincidence that transforms a stellar graveyard into a playful homage to a gaming legend. But the cosmic play doesn't end with Pac-Man's silhouette. Bright power pellets dot the cosmic labyrinth, not by happenstance, but by the meticulous craftsmanship of stellar creation. These celestial morsels are young stars, forged from the very same gas cloud that once cradled Pac-Man's ill-fated stellar ancestor. The cycle of stellar life and death continues, and new luminous players emerge in the aftermath of celestial explosions. In the cosmic the irony of it all, it appears that Pac-Man's stellar counterpart, despite its celestial charisma, has run out of extra lives. The stars collapse, a cosmic game over, has left behind a captivating visual legacy. A stellar Pac-Man frozen in the cosmic arcades of space and time. So as we gaze into the southern sky where the Pac-Man remnant resides, we find a whimsical reminder that the universe, in its vast complexity, occasionally indulges in playful cosmic configurations. So in the grand cosmic arcade, where stars are born and games are played on a cosmic scale, this celestial Celestial Pac-Man serves as a delightful and unexpected token, awaiting the next cosmic level to unfold. Enter the helix-shaped black hole energy cannon, a cosmic spectacle unveiled in the elliptical galaxy Messier 87, located a staggering 55 million light years from our cosmic abode. So in 2019, humanity marveled at the first ever image of a supermassive black hole, an entity of mind-boggling proportions, looming at the heart of Messier 87. Fast forward to the present, and scientists armed with the Very Large Array Observatory in New Mexico turn their gaze to the colossal jet erupting from the black hole center. What unfolds is a cosmic shocker that defies the conventional, as the jet, extending a jaw-dropping 8,000 light years, reveals a mesmerizing corkscrew-like helical structure. This revelation, a celestial double helix, challenges our preconceived notions about the straightforward nature of cosmic jets. So instead of a linear trajectory, the black hole unleashes a contorted spiral dance that stretches into the cosmic abyss. At the heart of this cosmic contortion lies a magnetic field, a celestial maestro conducting the symphony of matter and energy that emanates from the black holes core. The magnetic field, akin to a cosmic corkscrew, weaves its intricate pattern through space, extending its influence for an astonishing 3,300 light years. This marks a cosmic record, the longest magnetic field ever detected in a galactic jet. So as we contemplate this celestial spectacle, we are confronted with the boundless complexity of the universe, where even the most common phenomena unfold in unexpected and astonishing ways. The helix-shaped black hole energy cannon transcends the mundane and propels our understanding of the cosmos into uncharted territories. It's a testament to the cosmic grandeur that defies easy categorization, inviting us to ponder the mysteries that lurk in the depths of space. So as we peer into Messier 87 and witness the celestial choreography, we are reminded that the cosmos, in its vastness, harbors surprises that challenge our intellect and inspire awe. And that brings us to the end of my list, which means it's time for comment section shoutouts. From top 5 exposed government secrets NASA never wanted you to know, user Matthew Rattisfer9941 said, Love these videos and like you as a hostess. Like your little commentaries as you go. 
Thank you so much, Matthew. I like to think that my little anecdotes help with breaking everything up. And from the same video, user Paid Young True said that they remember iPods and how important it was to them to get one. Yep, they were totally a status symbol for a couple of years. Well, folks, I've been Alexa, your resident ookie spooky girly. And if you enjoyed my ramblings today, could you help us out by giving this video a like, subscribing if you aren't already, hit the bell for more space anomalies from us here at Top 5 Scary Videos, and I'll see y'all next time, you lovely spooky people.